Hello Year 5 and we're going to continue looking at our computers around us. So already you've identified some computers, you've looked at inputs and outputs and today we're going to look at something called decomposition. So what is decomposition? Well decomposition is a word that programmers use when they're thinking about a big programming problem on computers. So we're trying to think, mm, okay I'm a programmer and I've got a problem, I want my computer to do something but I've got this really big problem and I'm not sure how to do it. So we use something called decomposition to break the problem down into smaller steps. That's basically what decomposition means, is we're taking it apart into smaller steps so it's easier for us to manage. And then we can tackle each st small step at a time and eventually solve the whole bigger problem. Okay? So, to give an example, okay, let's imagine um, you've got DVDs or you've got like a bookshelf full of books uh, and we're trying to break this problem down because we want to sort them into an alphabetical order but at the moment, there's just too many books. It's too complicated to even think about. So we're going to come up with a system. We're going to break it down into small steps and come up with a system. So the first thing we're going to do is take all our DVDs off the shelf. Okay? And we're going to sort all the DVDs into piles based on the first letter of their title. So we're going through. We're going to have an A pile, a B pile, a C pile. And we just put them into the right pile as we go. Then we're going to go right back to the A pile. And we're going to organise this by the second letter of the alphabet. So they're all A's. And then we'll look at the second letter. So we'll have all the AAs and the ABs and the ACs and pile them up. Like make sure they're in complete alphabetical order. And then we'll take that pile once it's done and put it on the shelf. And then we go to the B pile. We sort that pile out. Once that pile is all sorted by its second and third letter, we put them on the shelf. And then the C pile, and so on and so on and so on, all the way down until we get to our Z DVDs. So that's a way of breaking down that problem. Instead of trying to get all the DVDs off the shelf and try and figure out which one's first and which one's second when we've got maybe hundreds of DVDs or hundreds of books. We go, all right, well, let's break it into piles first of A, B, C, D, and then we'll do the piles at a time. Okay, so it's a way of cracking a problem by breaking it into smaller steps. Hello, Mr. Moose. Are you ordering food online? You must be hungry. Computer programmers tend to solve problems by breaking them into small parts. This is called decomposition, and it works in everyday life too. Take your problem, for example. You're hungry. You can break it down into, where can I find food? How do I get to the food? And finally, eating the food. That should solve the problem. So first, let's find some food. I hear you like red gooseberries. So, what a coincidence. There are red gooseberries over there on the other side of the river. But how do you get to them? You'll need to cross the river. Sometimes, when breaking down a problem, you'll find there are different ways to solve it, some of which are better than others. In this case, you could wander across a bridge or paddle on a raft, or even swim. And once you get over there, you can guzzle as many red gooseberries as you want. Problem solved. Ugh, it's just no use. He's just a moose. Okay, so that's another example of what decomposition really means. Okay, so... Computer programmers do exactly the same thing when they write a program. They break their code into small chunks, which is really useful for making the problem smaller and understanding it step by step. Uh, and as I said, they call this decomposition because you're breaking down a large problem into smaller problems. Now, decomposition is really good because it saves time. It means you can work on little bits at a time uh, for a complex problem. And uh, if you make a mistake in the small chunks, it's easier to spot than if you make a mistake in a big chunk and you've got to find where the mistake is. Now, this is a thing that happens in lots of industries where we break down a problem to make it more effective for a business to solve. through. So, for example, there you can see uh, the smartphone. So what they'll do is they'll say, right, these, these people are going to go work on the screen. These people are going to work on the case. These people are going to work on the processor and the circuit boards. And so they break down their product into different sections. They decompose their, problem, their product into different sections. So each team of people can be specialists, can be experts, and solve the problem of that part of the manufacturing process. Then, 
they all come together to make the complete product in the end so you can have experts in certain fields working on certain bits so you might have battery experts that do the battery and you might have screen experts that do the screen and it just makes it a more efficient and effective process so decomposition is a skill that you'll see not only in programming but also in lots of businesses too so here's what i would like you to do today i would like you to write an explanation of what decomposition is so a little definition just explaining what it is okay I would like you to decompose tidying your room. So I'd like you to set me a set of instructions that I could follow to tidy your room. So write small steps to completing that task. I'd like you to, for goal, decompose a task of your own choosing. So think about a task that you think is quite a big problem that you can maybe break down into smaller steps for me. And then the challenge, if you choose to accept it, is think about a program or game that you've used. Try to decompose the parts of that program or game so try and think, okay, what are the different parts of this game and what problems might I face when, if I tried to make it myself? Okay, best of luck, everybody. You can submit on the VLE and I'll see you all soon.